up against Dake. Dake in the United States in the red. Nurkov, Belarus in the dark gray singlet. Nice chest trap by Nurkov right off the bat. Let's see if he can get to that corner on Dake. Dake is so tough to score on from this position and is another one who can weasel his way into points. And weasel's not a bad word. He just finds a way to capitalize on position as well as any wrestler in the world. Up until Dake's loss at the Olympics, he was on a 49 match win streak. He was really on a roll at 74. Arm throw attempt there by Nurkov. Dake was able to catch his balance and he drops down to the left leg. He's in a scoring position as he seals the two and the American goes up. Beautiful position and Nurkov was reaching down to that ankle. Uh, now I think of the United States wrestlers, Dake is the best wrestler in the parterre position. I know we saw Dayton Fix do it earlier, but his gut wrenches are brutally tight. You can see the, his opponent's eyes kind of bug out of their head. He's squeezing so tight. One turn for Dake. He's looking for a second. Referee says two. Remember, it has to be confirmed by the judge. In this case, it is. I counted three. I think he should be up eight nothing. Yeah, they did. They just confirmed that, okay. that, that third gut wrench. And he could have gotten another one, but Nurkov's head went out of bounds. Nope. And as soon as the head touches out of bounds, they immediately blow it up. So Dake. Not wasting any time in this opening period, able to get the takedown. And as Brian talked about it, when he gets on top, usually it's lights out, where he can secure the gut, rack up the serious points. Right, and his gut wrench is a little bit higher, above the rib cage, right below the chest. One of the things Dake does real well, too, is he plays to the official. Anything that grabs his fingers, hits him in the head, and he immediately gets attention to the other wrestler. And you bring that up, you saw Dake dangling his, his arm up there just to show the official that his fingers are, are free right there. That's right. So intelligent, just a, you know, I'd say a student of the sport, but he's just grown so much throughout his years and he really hit the mat with so much success from his time at college and now into the international level but uh, you know, constantly studying and, and growing up he was a great Greco-Roman wrestler as well so locking upper body he's not afraid in that position to go chest to chest with somebody or or in a chest wrap position in some way to score big points so they're going to say attention. The next time if, a per, if one of the wrestlers hits someone in the head, they'll probably give a, a caution and a point to the other wrestler. Both of their hands were in the face, uh, each other's face. A little testy in this first period with uh, the theatrics of Nurkov and Dake. 30 seconds to go, opening period, all Dake with an 8 nothing lead. And, and you heard Coach Zadek saying, you can end it. Let's get this done. 15. United States trying to go two for two. They're in the semifinal round. The barrage by Dake. Dake is so explosive, changing his level. We'll see if he can get a level change here, closing out the period, but he doesn't as we go to end period number one, eight to zero, Kyle Dake. All it took was one exchange for Dake. Able to get the takedown and then a series of turns from a position that he has dominated throughout his years, the gut wrench, the upper body gut wrench. Coach Zadig and company in that corner right now saying, this match is yours to take it if you want to end it early. Absolutely. Uh, Frank Pirelli, one of the coaches uh, at, you know, at Cornell's uh, Spartan Training Center, and uh, Coach Zadig, our, our head of our USA Wrestling men's freestyle. Now, like you said, uh, Nurkov got a takedown to win in the last like three seconds of the bout to win in the quarterfinals to get here. Dake Workman like was able to win 5-0 and you know he's one of those wrestlers once he gets a lead he's really hard to score on and he's so smart at taking a, uh, an attempt that's not putting him in any bad position. Nurkov 
In on his second shot, this time he has the leg. Whizzer being applied by Dake, defensive mechanism as he steps out and Nurkov on the board for the first time. Yeah, and he'll take that one point step out there. He limp need and Nurkov was in on a tight single and he was able just to bend his knee just enough to get his foot to the mat, but gave up the step out point. Nurkov won the Medvid championship earlier this year. Talked about his fifth place finishes at the World Championships three times in all in 2014, 15, and then again in 17. I'm sure looking at that podium gives him some angst just being that close so many times. World of international wrestling, you don't necessarily always get the chance to battle back for bronze. So depending on how your opponent who beat you fares and their path as far as continuing to win matches. Right. And the good thing about if you lose in the semifinals is that you automatically go into the repechage that you can wrestle for the bronze medal match, where if you lose to the person in the finals before that, you have to wrestle each other to see who wrestles for the bronze. So we know that Nurkov is at the least going to wrestle for a bronze medal. Hoping fourth time will be the charm. He still has unfinished business, but he needs to try to get something started. Running out of time, 90 seconds to go for uh, second period. Dake with an 8-1 to one lead. Couple of head slaps. I don't know if that, I'd call that a head slap. Yeah, what would you I describe think, oh, Maybe a hammer on his head. <laughs> maybe a sledgehammer. He's trying to be politically correct. <laughs> The whole crowd, and it, you know, not a huge crowd being hard to get into the country here, but they all kind of went, whoa. Good focused action, post. A lot of hand fighting right now. Nurkov just continues to bark with the referee. There's a pretty good forearm delivered by Dake. Don't be surprised if you see the whistle and the official jump in and right on cue. Let's see which way they go. They warned both wrestlers, then warned them again. And warned them one more time. Again, Dake relying on the eight in the first period. Commanding seven point lead, final few moments of this semifinal. You know, just not a lot of movement by Nurkov. He's, he's been stationary in that stand-up. He doesn't change levels a lot. He doesn't. He goes high-level singles. But he, his defense is, is excellent, and he's just here ready for a boxing match. Again, the match stopped. Let's see if a caution is given. It is. Yellow square up by Nurkov's name. Signaling a caution, point for Dake, so a 9-1 lead. And the United States is two for two. Kyle Dake victorious in the semifinals. 9-1 victory by Dake. And the United States, he punches his ticket into the world finals tomorrow. He did, and I think punching a ticket is, is something that that match had a lot of, a lot of hand fighting, and not only did he get his ticket to tomorrow's final, but he also got some good shots in in that match. That was a physical match for both guys. Looked more, believe in that second period, more MMA than it did wrestling. They were fighting. 